Hi, Drew Mahold back here with Second Swing Golf. We're at the 2019 PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando. Specifically, we're at the Titleist booth um, at the Merchandise Show here with Frederick Waddell, the Senior Manager of Golf Ball Product Management um, at Titleist. We're going to be looking at the brand new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Frederick, thanks for taking the time with us. Thanks for having me, Drew. I want to start a little bit about just kind of the mission you guys had with creating the new Pro V1, Pro V1X for this year and kind of meeting the demands of you know, both the amateurs and the tour pros that are using this ball. Yeah, so our, our process for bringing new Pro V1 and Pro V1X to, to, to golfers is robust and it, it starts really with talking to them. And uh, two years ago, we, we left the PGA show and, and we set out a, a plan to go talk to as many golfers mm -hmm. as possible throughout the pyramid of influence. So for us, it starts with the tour player and understanding their needs and wants as it relates to new products, uh, but it includes everybody, PGA professionals, amateurs, we, we talked to everybody, and, and, and really this year for 2019, that feedback centered around longer distance, mm -hmm. uh, higher ball speed, uh, but not at the expense of anything else. Right. They didn't want to give up short game spinner control. Right, and I know you guys have an extensive um, process as far as prototyping and, yep. and all that stuff, so how, um, how extensive was that? How many prototypes did you go through? Um, how much work did that really take for you? Yeah, yeah so it, ta it takes a while, so we kind of in, in after, after the 17 show, um, went back and, and, and gathered feedback from golfers, mm -hmm. and then we developed product briefs that we deliver to R&D, and they start the prototyping process. Um, and through that, really, we saw some exciting technologies come mm -hmm. out uh, in that effort to bolster ball speed, right. uh, but not at the expense of anything. And it really centered around new core casing yep. layer and cover technologies for 2019. Yeah, so like you said, there's the, the new cover layer that's a little thinner. You have kind of a revolutionized um, indoor and the core. Um, speak a little bit more about that and the advantages that each one of those things brings to yeah, the Yeah, so offer. they all work together and, and everything that, that we did to Pro V1 applies to Pro V1X and vice versa. So we reformulated both both cores. Mm -hmm. um, that was in an effort to, to really kind of push speed, lower mm -hmm. spin. Um, so that reformulation coupled with um, the casing and cover changes uh, really are how we get to higher ball mm -hmm. speeds. The cover is crucial to the performance of Pro V1 and Pro V1X. It really provides uh, that, that short game spin and control that the golfers are looking for um, and, and that make Pro V1 so good. Um, but in looking at how we could optimize that cover, it's not designed for speed. Right. Um, the casing layer is. So we thinned the cover by 17%. We took that volume, we added it to the casing layer. Sure. Casing layer is, is fast material. So we took away some, some material not designed for speed, we added fast material, um, and the result of all that uh, for both golf balls is higher ball speeds and lower spin in the long game, same short game spin and control, durability, there feel that everyone expects from Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Sure, and new for the 2019 uh, release is the yellow version yeah. of the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Yeah, so we had heard from golfers uh, really a, a, growing, a growing need for, for yellow and desire for yellow uh, in Pro V1 and Pro V1X. And uh, it's not as simple as just painting right. it yellow. Yeah. Um, it really requires looking at every part of the golf ball because they all contribute to the finished ball color mm -hmm. when you're doing something that's not white. And so we developed yellow on the premise that one, yellow had to perform identical to the right. white golf ball. And two, it had to be the most premium yellow we could deliver. It's mm -hmm. Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Yeah, yeah. We can't go put a mustard yellow on, on the golf right. ball. And I think we did that. These golf balls are beautiful. They perform identically to, to um, to Pro V1 and Pro V1X in, in white, um, and they're just easier to see. I think golfers everywhere uh, are gonna enjoy them, and we'll see them out on tour. I don't know exactly when, but we've had a lot of tour player interest in yellow. And then speaking on the differences of the Pro V1, Pro V1X, obviously there's two different types of balls, there's different yeah. compression and, and whatnot inside, so what are the different um, playability um, performance options that you're gonna yeah. get from these two, and kind of what are the different benefits that players will see? The great question, and, and you know, people sometimes ask, like, why do you have two of them? Yeah. Um, and it's because golfers, you know, they're all different. Everyone mm -hmm. attacks the ball differently, they swing at different speeds, um, and so we, we, we like to have between Pro V1, Pro V1X, and you could include AVX, in, in the, that kind of best performing category, uh, these options. So the difference really between uh, Pro V1 and Pro V1X comes down to flight, feel, and spin. So, Pro V1 provides a nice penetrating trajectory, lower spin, and softer feel. Sure. Pro V1X flies higher, spins a little more, um, and it has a firmer feel than Pro V1. Sure. Well, this was some great information, Frederick. Really appreciate the time that you were taking with uh, with us and the second swing customers that are going to see this. Thanks a lot. Our pleasure. Great being with you.